All right, guys, we're back. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Adon. I'm my up. boy Christopher the Conch over here. So yeah. we are break room blitz, baby. Right if you can't tell Bam. by the tire. Bam. I have a better official. Well, actually, no, our shirt's awesome, but this is from the other awesome. side, man. He'll get him one one day. Yeah. He got. He has to do. Uh, it's on order. You gotta earn it. He gotta earn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta earn these stripes. Yeah. <laughs> the intern, go get me water. <laughs> <laughs> so we just came back from seeing Allied. Woo. Uh, so. I was saying, man. <laughs> it was. We got Brad Pitt. It's a Brad Pitt movie. Yeah. We're back for like Inglorious Bastards yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. And then we have Marion Cotillard. It's his love interest in the movie. Catalard? Am I saying that right? Catalard? I don't know. It sounds like you're saying it right. I don't Sorry. know how it's spelled. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, Jared Harris. Yeah. So, I am, ever since, I'm going to start us out there. Ever since I saw the Brad Pitt movie. Um, Troy? Uh, Troy, thank you very much. Yeah. I've been kind of a fan, but he's kind of let me down in everything else I've seen him in. After that? <laughs> After that, yeah. I could, you know, I kind of see that, but I mean, like, you know, he's done Bench Bim Button and, you know, different, like, kind of weird pieces like that, and I did like Inglorious Bastards, so. Yeah. Okay, I did like it, but it was a bunch of people. Yeah. Oh, and he did Fury. So, you know, like, he's done a lot of World War II movies, because yeah. he did that tank movie that was freaking spectacular. Uh -huh. I need to rewatch that movie. So, that was a good track record. Yeah. Uh, okay, but it's not it's not exciting. So that's just for me. Okay. Um, but I kind of like the movie. We're gonna just run it down. We're gonna just run it down real quick, guys. Run it down. All right, guys. So it is a love story. It is a tragedy. It is kind of a thriller. You don't really know what's gonna happen. It gets your your mind going a little bit. I thought it was a little too long. I felt like it was um, the story just wasn't as exciting. It wasn't kind of like. It, we're in the middle of a war here, so I, I wanted to do something a little quicker than that. Um, but it so it kind of drawn out for me. Mm -hmm. But the ending was really strong. I felt like the ending was strong. Yeah. Um, again, I love love, so I was loving how she was, you know, loving her man and knew her. Man. I love how, how they knew each other. Right. Yeah. Any mm -hmm. slight differences in their behavior, you know, it, we, they noticed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I did like that. Mm -hmm. um, but when I watch it again. Probably not because it's just way too long of a story. It was pretty long. How they got together was kind of long, so I would probably not watch it again. I would maybe watch it if I saw it in the middle. Mm -hmm. it was in the middle, oh yeah, I watched this before, and then I might get into it. But so keep going. I think I'm gonna have to give it a 6.5, maybe a seven, uh, just because of the ending was really strong, and I loved some yeah. of the love. But that's just me. That's so, cool. Yeah. What do you guys think? I, you know, I'm there with you, but uh, for me, you know, I'll give it a solid six. Uh, the rewatch value, not so much. Uh, I, I would say it had a really good uh, beginning and a really good ending. I could literally like forward a lot of the middle area, you know, and just like speed it up a little bit, and um, I would be fine with that. But uh, yeah, I mean, it had good action. It had good drama. You know. Both of these individuals are like really intelligent, you know. They're 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 both playing the game and they're they're really good with each other, like yeah, yeah. like partner wise, you know. It was like kind of reminded me of like a World War II, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, uh, you know, mm. kind of esque again, you know, yeah, but like yeah, a spy yeah. thriller. So I, I liked it for that. It was a, a little you know unique, but uh, yeah, I, I'll give it a six though. Um, I enjoyed the movie. Um, it did lag. There's that middle point where it just kind of like it carried on, but um, I know that it was developing. Um, I did. I enjoyed the wife the most. Like her character was just spectacular. Um, just who she was, how she loved, and then the vice versa. Like you said, they were they were a tag team. Like they were they were the old soul marriage married couple. Like you know, definitely gone nowadays. But uh, I, I'm gonna I, you know. It's, I, I'm on the 6.57 margin with you on this one, which is a first for me. Oh my gosh! <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna probably I might go with a seven just because, like you, the, the ending was just so impacting, and the love was there, and just the dy dynamics that was there. And then I think the one thing I enjoyed out of it too, outside of just you know the speedy like well the typical stuff, is. You kind of got the outside family perspective of what was mm -hmm. going on during the war. You're having a party in your backyard and stuff's going down. So that was that was definitely unique in that case. So I'll right. stick with seven. Yeah. They're still living through the war. Yeah. You know, so would you recommend it? 
Um, Are you going to see it again? I would probably see it again. I wouldn't go in the theater to see it. This is a movie I'd probably, if I were chilling at home doing something, I'd put it on in the background, and I, it's one of those things I'd walk in and out and watch. Um, yeah. It's, 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 it's a good love story. It, it's got a really good love story behind it. I see it being for older, an older generation. Yeah. I don't see mm-hmm. it being made for us. That's how I've kind of yeah. felt. Because it, it's already World War II. And then it's slow. It's a slow pace. I feel like my, yeah. my grandparents would really appreciate it. Right, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And for me, I need a little bit more. You know, they come from a simpler time in film. Mm-hmm. So as a younger, modern film uh, connoisseur, yeah. I need a little bit more... Um, Quickness, snappiness, a uh, sense of panic and urgency. Yeah, yeah. yeah I need mean, something going on here. Yeah. Like, like I, there were times in the movie where I was like, like, oh my God, they're not going to get away from this. You know, like, I don't know, like there was like a sense of urgency at some parts, but it really slowed down once they were out of that like quick fray, you know? Right. I would have liked them kind of, kind of play back and forth with each other, kind of like, is she serious right now? I can't really tell. Right. And that would have made it a yeah. little more impactful mm-hmm. when it kind of flips on us to where, like, is she a spy or not? Yeah. So, since it didn't happen, I was like, mm, I don't know. But that's just me personally. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. So, that's our break room blitz. That's, that's our first reaction. We just came back from seeing it. So, I would say it's up to you. If you like slow-paced movies. Flip a coin and um, maybe not. Maybe yeah, so. <laughs> if you like The Notebook, you might enjoy this yeah it's, it's definitely got that pacing I, I wouldn't i wouldn't knock it like i would say if you guys are in for a, a pretty decent love story time period piece with some uniqueness to it and some passion yeah i, I would go i would go watch yeah. it yeah for me it's more of a rental um i could skip it easy but that's just me all right guys that's our review on allied okay guys so question of the day would you choose your wife or your country Ooh. it's a deep one. Oh, Damn. it's a hard one do I love my wife? <laughs> like, is it 10 years or year uh, one? You know, it's, it actually sounds horrible. But I is it my first wife? Or is it just the second one? Cause I, got three. I feel like in this day and age, they'd be like, I'll turn her in. Right. So you guys let us know. Also, before we go, uh, we are doing a giveaway at the end of December. What? We are giving away gin. I know we, oh, it's pretty bright. Like, you know. But it's a pop. Here we go. From Rogue One. There we go. Rogue One, son. Yeah, we got Jen here from Rogue One. So if you guys are interested in oh. winning, we will be giving this away at the end of the month. Um, so check out our Rogue One Break Room Blitz non-spoiler review. We'll be announcing who won. So, all right, guys. We're Break Room Blitz. I'm your boy, D'Anthony. I'm done. Good coach. And we're out, baby. Peace. Peace. Okay, class. Today we're gonna talk about homosexuality. Oh, jeez. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> See, I really like Black Panther because a lot of times when they put African Americans in the movie, they're always one way. They're always static. Either always angry or. It was just like, day. oh my god. I remember just like, this is a great movie. It's <laughs> a great movie. <laughs> I got to hear what a villain complex. I did, and after I walked out of the theater, I actually it took.